Hello guys, good afternoon, and welcome to the Doubletree Hotel in Atlanta. Why am I here, you ask? Well, friends, a friend of mine has come into town from California. She and I have been friends for 39 years. I think we were in second or third grade when we met. And she is a friend that I hooked up with when I went to California in 2013 and 2012 and 2008. And we have kept in contact with each other ever since she moved when we were in the fifth or sixth grade. And she and I have wrote letters to each other. We have, I mean, just everything. And then finally we reconnected, well not reconnected, but finally we got to like see each other after all those years in 2008 she was in my um, Disney vlogs um, back in or my Disneyland vlogs back in 2016 when Brian and I went I think it was so yeah oh my god so she's here for a teachers conference with a bunch of other teachers that um, won this uh, won the scholarship to come to Atlanta for this big teachers thing so they're staying here at this hotel and I am meeting her here and then we are going to be going to a Braves game together. I have never been to a Braves game since I lived here um, and I've never been to SunTrust Park. So that is a new park. So I'm excited to go there and explore that. I'm excited to spend the evening with my friend Kim and meet some of her other teacher friends and then just hang out, enjoy each other's company and just kind of pick up where we left off because that always seems to happen when we are together. We just pick up where we left off. But I'm so excited to share this little adventure with you. I hope it's going to be as much fun for you guys as it is for me. I'm super excited to see her and spend this evening with her. Actually, it was 2017 when we went, didn't we? Yeah, it was 2017 when we went to California last. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to the evening. So stick around. We're going to go eat. We're going to go to SunTrust Park. We're going to go to a ball game. We're going to tour SunTrust Park a little bit and walk around, see what that's all about. And uh, yeah, I thought I would take you guys along with me on this journey. Hopefully my battery will hold out because I forgot to bring extra batteries. I took them all out of my purse so I can go charge them all. And I left them in my room to charge. Mm, so crossing fingers, hoping for a full charge battery tonight. If not, Oh well, I don't know what to say. Um, but I'm gonna stop talking so I can keep my battery. See you guys later, bye. So, oh is that it? Yeah, there it is. Yeah, Terrapin. Look at the Atlanta Braves thing. Oh. So we're at the Braves game. Woohoo! Yay! Look at everybody's having so much fun, yay! Look at them all. <laughs> I love how they have the jerseys set up. They're like a dry cleaning place. It's really neat. And it moves. That's really cool. That's neat. That's cool. I'm here with those girls, all these ladies. I'm here with all you ladies. No, you're fine. What are you sorry for?
Show me your shirt, Kimmy. Very, very cute. Love it. Super cute. Did I turn too fast? Sorry. No, you did. You did good. here and watch the ball game out here this is so nice I'm actually getting ready to leave but look how cool is that Atlanta Braves game there's restaurants all over here the Roxy is down there that's so cool so much fun yay I had a lot of fun my battery is flashing and I'm driving in circles trying to get away from the stadium. So I'm stopped in traffic right now. I left during like this top of the mid, like bottom of the sixth, top of the seventh inning. Um, my battery is dying and I know it's gonna die any second. So thank you guys so much for hanging out. I know I didn't get to share a lot. I really just wanted to visit with my friend. Good morning friends and happy Friday. Ah. I got home about 10.30 last night, I think it was. Maybe 10, 10.30, I can't remember. But anyway, and um, when I was saying how much fun I had last night, my battery died, and I'm like, okay, I gotta go. Um, it. I was sitting in just a little bit of traffic last night, not too bad, um, just around the ballpark. But once I got on like 285 and all that good stuff, I was it was good, smooth sailing. So I got home, and... <clears throat> so funny Brian was still awake he was sitting in the family room watching TV which is very very rare and I actually um, undid the bed yesterday before I left that way he wouldn't have to do it and then it would be ready for him if he wanted to go to bed but he didn't even do that so he stayed in the living room and waited for me which was so nice um, I had such an amazing time with my friend Kim last night it was it's always excuse me it's so nice to see her we obviously don't get to see each other as often as we would like to um she lives in california and i live here in georgia so it's very difficult for us to you know see each other unless we go out there this was like an opportunity of a lifetime for her to come out here and i am so glad that she was able to um have this opportunity to come out here to the Ron Clark Academy and um, it's a teaching academy uh, for teachers. So um, she was amongst, I think she said 35 other teachers that were chosen from their district in California to come out here. They each had to write an essay and reason why they felt they would love to come out here. So um, yeah, so that was such a really cool thing, but I just love spending time with her. Um, like I said before, if you guys didn't like catch on to my story, she and I met when we were in the second grade. We have been friends for 39 years. Her family moved away right after sixth grade. They moved to Arizona first and then they um, settled in California. And from that time, obviously, you know, seventh grade through high school, through getting married and whatever, we constantly kept in contact with each other, writing each other letters, snail mail, actually. Um, and obviously sending pictures and just kind of growing up through the mail. And uh, when I moved to Alabama in 2008, my friend Michelle had um, family who lived in California and her brother was actually getting married and she wanted to know if I'd go with her to California. And I said, sure, I'd love to. And that was like the perfect opportunity for me to um, connect with Kim. Um, and of course, when we had internet and stuff like that, we started communicating with internet and then cell phones and all that good stuff. So, um, but yeah, I was able to first time see her in 2008 from the last time we saw each other, which was in 87. So it was pretty cool. Um, so 
yeah, I did I do all the math right with that? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, I think that it was right. Yeah, we saw each other for the first time in 2008. They left in like 1986 or something. I don't know. Anyway, nonetheless, we've been friends since second grade. That's all I know. But um, I was just so happy to be able to have the opportunity to spend some time with her last night. And I did. Um, so I met her at her hotel. We, we didn't get to have dinner like outside of the ballpark because every place was packed. So we just ended up eating inside of the ballpark, um, which worked out great. We just sat next to each other and we were able to chat with each other, which is so nice. Again, it wasn't um, a, not, wasn't enough time to be able to chat and catch up, but it was definitely worth it. I would definitely do it again. Um, and I'm looking forward to um, possibly, well, looking forward to seeing her if I possibly go to California um, in June. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. So uh, today, I have been, it's, it's like 10, 15 in the morning and I really haven't done much of anything um, except for kind of upload the video from last night. I just kind of wanted to see where it was from last night and um, I thought I would go ahead and just add to, add to it today, which would be this. Um, so, whew. Um, I got to make up the bed. Actually, I really need to change the sheets on the bed because I didn't get to do it last Sunday because we left. Um, but I think I'll just wait and do it on Sunday. That way I'm still like on my schedule. So I'm just going to wait and do it on Sunday. I'm having a hot flash. <sighs> Hold please. Uh, not kidding when I say these things come in handy. Oh, these are the best little fans ever. You guys, um... I'll leave a link to these in the description box below. I'm telling you guys, these are the best little fans that you could have with you, carry them with you everywhere you go. I keep them in my purse because when I'm out and about and I get super hot, I have to have something to cool me down like immediately, especially if I don't have AC on or near me. Um, this definitely helps and you just charge it with a USB. It plug like just like you're charging your phone and it has a battery, which I lost the back of this. So I need to tape it in there. But anywho, best thing ever. Like, ah, uh, feels so good. Um, anyway, okay, so I'm gonna make up a bed. I'm gonna finish up a little, a, a couple loads of laundry that I still have to finish up. I have, um, oh, I got some new sunglasses and um, I wanna show you guys these books. So Crystal Tara did it again and she made me do it. She um, shared the other day on her um, YouTube channel about this um, girl company who does these books, who makes these books. And let me, I'm going to carry these into my dining room because that way it's a little brighter. You guys, I'm watching Game of Thrones. I'm trying to, I'm, I've watched every single episode. I'm just trying to like catch up because the new episodes start Sunday. So I'm super excited. Okay, so uh, the books. This, I, what is the name of this girl's company? The Highway Farm. Oh my gosh. So, Crystal Tara shared these on her YouTube channel the other day, and she also shared them on her Instagram, I think. Um, and, and then she had like a code from the company, um, or the young lady who, I think it's a, it's a company, it's, um, from the company who makes these. Um, and she had a, a coupon code for her subscribers. And I will have one too. Um, just give me a second and I will share that with you. But anyway, these books are so cute. And then they came in mail yesterday and I just got to see them today. Um, I had no clue that they're actual real books. So I'm gonna show these to you. I, I don't wanna show the other ones because the other ones are Christmas gifts. So um, I'm gonna show you the one that I have for me and Brian. So um, this is the company which is called The Highway Farm, which is so cute i love how she designed everything it's so pretty um and then this is uh books that i have had made for me and brian so brian and angie um love and best friends and of course i put that was not the year that we got married that's 2000 not 2013 2003 oh no how can i correct that Oh no, I must have done that. I must have made a mistake. Oh no, I'm gonna have to order a new one. 
Okay, so I'm gonna have to order a new one of these. 2013, I don't, that was just a couple years ago. <laughs> Silly me. Anyway, um, I wonder if I can like, how, how I can like cross that off and put on 2003. I'll just order a new one. Okay, um, and then, because we got married in 2003, not 2013, my freaking bad. Anyway, and then love and then best friend. So I just thought that was really cute. I actually love the way that these turned out. I hate the fact that I messed up the date. Okay, so these are actual real books. I do not want to undo the tie, but these are actual real books. Um, how weird is that? I had no clue that these were actual real books. That is so neat though. Um, but anyway, nonetheless, besides that little flaw right there, it's not her fault, it's my fault, because I'm sure I probably, I put 2013, I don't know why, but I did. Anyway, um, <clears throat> have your subscribers and followers use Angie 10 for a 10% off their book orders, so go ahead if you guys want to order these books. I think they are great for Christmas gifts, amazing. You guys can do the Angie 10 for 10% off of your book orders. There's all the information right there that you will need, Angie 10 for that coupon code. Um, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you guys do these. These are super cute, and like I said, they're perfect for uh, Christmas gifts or birthday gifts, especially when you have babies that were just born like in my family, um, so that's what I did. So, I love them. And then I did get a new pair of sunglasses, also. Crystal Terra. Hold on a second. Alrighty, so these are the sunglasses that I was talking about. These are not the same ones that Crystal Terra had. Um, those ones, I didn't, I don't, I liked them on her face, um, but when I like saw them and saw how big they were, like, online I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna like those on my face because they're like a little big but of course then when you're on Amazon you get sucked into the Amazon you know vortex and you're like ooh sunglasses so I found these ones and these ones are polarized which are really nice um, I love that they're the brown I love that they're really cute and they're polarized so they're really nice they come with a um, nice case so I love the case that they come with it's so nice it snaps right up here at the top so it fits perfectly. I love like sunglass cases because when I do go into places and I don't want to pull it back on my hair, I can just put them on. Excuse me, put them in my um, glass case. Well, anyway, these are Polar Specs, Polarized Optics. Uh, from That's what they're called. I'm trying to see if there's like a company or whatever. But I will leave a link to them uh, in the description box below if you guys are interested. They were so inexpensive. Honestly, I think... Oh my gosh, I think, I want to say they were $14, $14 to $20, I think. Not bad at all for a nice pair of polarized sunglasses and a case. This is so nice. I absolutely love them. So if you guys are interested in these as well, I will leave a link in the description box below. I really like them, so I'm excited to wear them because like I need more sunglasses, right? Um, but I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the vlog for today. I'm not going to share anything else because I really want to get this up and edited for today. And then I will start fresh on Monday. Um, so there won't be anything up uh, tomorrow or Sunday. So I will start fresh with vlogging on Monday and it looks like we, we're so far so good. We're going to be home for the, I can take these off now. We're going to, whoa. We're going to be home for the next couple of weeks until we leave for um, Boston. So game plan, game plan is to start preparing for Boston. Brian's parents might be coming in next weekend to help build the deck. And for Easter, not sure yet. We're, the weather isn't looking promising for us next week next weekend for that so um, if the, the it's all going to depend on the weather so weather permitting um i also want to try to get the upstairs semi organized and done which is like my craft room turning into slash storage room and then um angie cutler ooh, ooh, shout out to miss angie my other cousin my cousin from another family <laughs> Um, I'm giving her as much of my arts and crafts stuff as I can because she's got three sweet little kids um, that she loves to do arts and crafts with and um, 
I everything that sh that I have up there she could totally utilize in every aspect of her crafting so um, I want to try to get all of that stuff together for her it may not happen next week so hold out Angie I'm still thinking of you I still got it covered girl you're still gonna get it all just timing so Anyway, um, so that's it for today. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out with me, subscribing. My subscribers have gone off the charts. I've been so impressed with that. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'm almost close to 6,000 subscribers. I'm getting there. Um, so I totally thank you guys for all of that. Don't forget, I also have another YouTube channel, which is Adventures in Wonderland, where I share all of my travel adventures, hotel tours, all that good stuff. And Instagram, make sure you're following me over there. And my Facebook, Angie in Wonderland. I will see you guys on Monday morning. You guys have a great, great weekend. Bye, guys.